coach because Joe got to an early lead there for Rose in the first kind of set the tone for the day. Just like the duo that's going right there for that first inning. Yeah, I think it was kind of a carryover from the guy's approach during the day. I mean, you see him at breakfast and then a, uh, a different time game for us. So we actually had a little snack in the lobby, uh, on the bus, at the field. You just kind of felt good about the vibes they were putting off. And I think that was, uh, you know, kind of a byproduct of that. You don't always necessarily get runs in that situation, uh, but, but the guys did and it got us off to a good start. And obviously Will didn't have his best stuff today, but the bullpen really picked him up. How nice was to see Camden have a really good outing and then obviously Kirby and NEP behind them. Yeah, I mean, I think Will, when he usually throws the first couple pitches of the game, you can kind of see how it's coming out. And, and it was coming out good. I mean, he's throwing the ball well, just kind of a couple goofy things happened. Uh, if he could go back in time, he'd make that play 99 times out of 100. He's one of our best fielding pitchers. But, you know, just kind of barely missing, uh, you know, balls and strikes and, and a couple goofy things happen. And so we just kind of decided to reset the game when it was tied. And, and Camden's uh, fourth inning was huge for us. And then up a lead, you know, obviously Kirby does a good job throwing strikes. And then the EP's uh, involvement is going to be huge down the stretch. So it's good he got out there and got a repetition. And Liam and Max both had good days again at the top of the order. How big is it when they're both clicking at the top and you really got this guy setting the table for the rest of the order? Yeah, it makes it fun. And they're, they're roommates. Uh, but, you know, maybe my favorite play of the game was the other roommate, Cortland Lawson, came in. And, you know, when you come off the bench, the ball will find you right away. And he turned a phenomenal double play uh, to, to end the game. But... Yeah, when Max and Liam are doing things on top of playing defense and they both can run, you know, using their legs, they both usually battle and have competitive at-bats. All those things are phenomenal for our team. But then when you supplement that or, or throw in the fact um, they're knocking the ball around, then, then definitely two or three full it makes everybody a lot happier. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention Drew's having a heck of a series so far. Obviously, he struggled a little bit there in the middle of SEC play, but really seems to have turned it on as a way. How big is that for you guys? Yeah, it's huge. Like you said, normal self. And, and I think the media got tired of me saying that. But what I mean is, you know, playing tension-free baseball, kind of like Drew has. And I, I think he gets frustrated sometimes and, and, again, lets tension creep in. But he hasn't done that as of late. And then also midway through the year when he kind of settled into that cleanup spot, just because it's called cleanup spot, sometimes guys can overthink it a little bit. But really it's just a spot in the order uh, that he fits well. And, uh, it doesn't matter where he's at in the lineup. He's explosive, and he's a good athlete, and he's a great competitor. So all we need him to do is be just that, uh, and it'll work out fine for us. Thanks. Congrats on the win. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you.